Put your hands together for the very funny, very talented uh, Carlos Soseco, everybody. <laughs> drive me crazy and it, and it just I, I think it tore us apart there were little things really that, that ended our relationship uh, he couldn't stand that I kept nagging him to pick up his socks put his dishes in the dishwasher and I couldn't stand that he kept fucking my sister <laughs> I'm just kidding it was like two hand jobs <laughs> and one thing he did do that drove me insane he has a female best friend uh, which in itself was not such a big deal, although I know what you're thinking, that's never a good sign. But honestly, she was not his type. She has really high self-esteem. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't like that. Um, but what he would do is he would confuse us all the time. Like he would forget which one of us he had told something, and that really hurt my feelings. Like he would say, um, that party on Friday night that I told you about, did you want to go? And I would say, what party? You didn't tell me about a party. And he'd say, oh, that must have been Liz. Yeah, so um, I started doing it back. Like I would be like, um, hey, uh, remember how I went down on you during Game of Thrones? Uh, <laughs> that was Liz, I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, I never cheated on him. I've never cheated on anyone. Even though it seems like it's kind of okay to do now, or at least really common, uh, I put myself on OkCupid okay after we broke up, and I went out with this guy. It was a very average date. It was like two drinks, we were done, whatever. But the next day, I got an email from his girlfriend. She just wanted to see if we'd had a nice time. Um, no, she wanted to tell me that she existed, which was a surprise for me. And there were all sorts of freaks on OkCupid. I don't know if any of you are on OkCupid. You seem nice. Um, but I actually got propositioned for a threesome by a married couple. And I thought to myself, I am 37. I'm broken. <laughs> I'm pretty depressed. <laughs> yeah, this seems like a good life decision. <laughs> um, so we started to talk through the logistics. And one of the things that we had to figure out um, was what to do with their twin toddlers. <laughs> yeah. And they seemed okay with just having them in the apartment. And I thought, that is really flattering that they want me to meet their kids. <laughs> uh, yeah. So uh, I didn't actually end up meeting them at all, and here's why. They sent me some photos, and I guess because they didn't have any on their profile, I guess because they didn't want people to know that they're perverts. And um, <laughs> they were perfectly attractive. They were a nice looking couple. Her penis was definitely smaller than I was going to. <laughs> Not much. Um, all the photos, yeah, all, all the photos uh, were taken on this vacation, it looked like. And the thing I couldn't get over was that the sexual imagery in every photo was so over the top and blatant. Like, there was a photo of him hoisting this gigantic fish that I guess he'd caught. Fish. No. Um, and she was like in front of this really erect, like large lighthouse. And I just thought, like, where's the art in that, you guys? Like, so on the nose. So I couldn't go through with it. It's probably why I'm single. I'm so judgy. Um, so I took myself off OkCupid, okay and now I'm in that part of the post-breakup depression where I miss my ex's like even worst qualities, um, like the fact that he was kind of, sort of anti-Semitic-y, like, like not full-blown anti-Semitic, but like anti-Semitic-ish, if you will. And I'm Jewish, so that was a problem. Like. He would eat his bacon at me. <laughs> or uh, this one time we got into a screaming fight on the street and he called me a spoiled little Jewish girl. 
which I really resented because I'm 5'7". <laughs> so if anything, I am a slightly taller than average. <laughs> um, one of the things I definitely don't mess about my ex and never will is his temper. He definitely had anger issues. Um, I swear to God, this is a real story. The first time he met my parents, he almost got into a fight with somebody at the restaurant where we were having dinner, a fist fight, like an action fight. In his defense, the people at the next table, they were jerks, they were loud, they were rude, they were mean to the waiter. Um, but like I said, we're Jewish, we don't know from fighting. So uh, before I knew it, my boyfriend and this guy were standing nose to nose, and this guy had like really bad bleach blonde hair. And my boyfriend said to him, Let's go, Guy Fieri. <laughs> and I thought two things. I thought, number one, this is bad. That is not the way to defuse the situation. My boyfriend's about to fight in front of my parents. And number two, it's Fieri. Everybody knows that. Thank you so much.